What's up folks, it's James from Cyber Media App. Today we're going to be going through three quick and easy ways that you can record your game in gameplay. This way you can go ahead and record your footage whether you're on PC or Xbox, upload the footage to your editor and create your own videos to upload to your YouTube or other social channels. So let's not waste any time and let's get into the video. The first method is going to be if you're using an Xbox. There is already a way on Xbox to capture your screen, however this is time limited and it's not too easy to transfer back and forth from your PC. So this way you're simply going to need a USB stick. We're going to quickly format it, that takes a couple of seconds. And then you can put in your USB into your Xbox and record straight onto your USB. It makes it super easy and quick to then transfer it from your USB to your PC, your laptop, your Mac and then start editing. Now before we get started I do warn you to clear or move anything from this USB before we format it because you're probably likely to lose it. First of all go ahead and find where your USB is on your PC. We're going to right hand click on it and then we're going to go down to format. From here we go down to the file system and the little drop down and we're going to choose NTFS option. Go ahead and start and again I do warn you before this point just make sure to move any files, any folders that you might have because this is going to reformat it which usually will clean the entire USB. By clean I mean just erase everything, so make sure you got it saved first. Then let's go ahead and start. It will now warn us to obviously, you know, that you're going to lose the data on the disk. And let's go ahead with that. Once done you're going to get a format complete option. Click OK and you're basically done, you're good to go. Just make sure to remove it properly from your PC and don't just pull it out. Now head over and switch your Xbox on with your USB in hand and make sure that you've got a USB slot in the Xbox available. Once properly on make sure to put it in the USB slot. So if you normally screen record on your Xbox it's pretty much the same way. So we're going to press the middle Xbox button we're going to come over to the section over here which says capture and share we're not going to go to screen recording we're going to go down to the capture settings first click on capture settings and it will ask you to put in your password so make sure that you know the password with the gmail or whatever email that you have used to log in with from the general section we're going to go down to capture save location and select USB disk. Now it seems that my USB is actually too old however basically what you're going to be able to do is at that point you're going to be able to go to recording length and you're going to be able to change this from the maximum of two minutes to a much longer period. Once you're done the same way as you would normally start recording you're going to head over to your capture and share section and then simply click start recording. As long as you have your USB and again make sure that your USB is USB 3 and higher so it can record at the current speeds that the Xbox records at it will then start recording straight to your USB. Now the second way to do this is if you have the Xbox app downloaded onto your PC or your laptop which you know most gamers do. Click this come down to your search bar and type in Xbox. If you can see that you can screen record with it. Another way to do that is simply by pressing the Windows key and G. Once you press that you're going to get all of your Xbox type stuff or screen overlay come and you can have this option right here to record. Of course at the moment it's saying that I can't because it's a desktop however if I open up any game such as Roblox, Minecraft, something on Steam we can now go ahead and press the Windows key and G and now you can see the record button is now available. Click the record button and it will start recording your screenplay. Easy as that, if I click off of it now you're going to see or you might not be able to see on the camera depending whether it shows on the overlay but there's a little record button on the top right which shows you how long you've been recording for. Very easy, super quick and most PCs have it. Usually the Xbox app is already installed on Windows or if not you can very quickly install it for free and it's just handy to have if you're a gamer. Next up and the last way this is going to be if you've got some sort of graphics card installed by GeForce. This is a very popular graphics card in a lot of PCs this is why I'm going to suggest it because you most likely have it if you have any graphics card unless of course it's a system built in built graphics card on your PC. To check go to your search bar and then type in GeForce and you're going to see there if you have the GeForce experience this is downloaded normally once you have your graphics card installed. I mean it's good to have any way with your graphics card it installs different drivers keeps stuff up to date and it's very optimized for gaming. However one thing that you can do now and I can't actually show you because this is exactly how I'm screen recording at the moment is you press out and you press F9 and that will automatically start recording your entire screen whether you're on a desktop whether you're on a game Probably a bit hard to see but I'm recording and you've got this little record button right here and it's also showing that the mic's recording as well. This is definitely one of my preferred methods for screen recording because it records at really really good quality. It's the best one that I've found so far with Minecraft especially if you're running loads of mods or really heavy graphic game. It just records it awesomely and you can record your voice at the same time. Press out F9 to stop and there you go you got your screen recording for gaming. So guys I hope that's helped you with your game recording. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel for more media and video tips.